Here at Middle Tennessee Electric, as part of the hotline demonstration team, we want to bring awareness to uh, car wrecks, hitting light poles throughout our service area about how to exit that vehicle and the proper way and the improper way in order to keep you safe as possible. As you'll see behind me, we have a car that is, uh, we've kind of recreated an accident scene with a pole laying across that car. And we've also got lines you can see laying across it. Now the lines may not necessarily be on the ground, they could also be really low at that car wreck. And if you open the door, step out and walk into those lines, not looking at those hazards, then if that wire is energized, then you could become electrocuted and killed. So we wanna bring awareness to that by showing you how to exit a car. As we see here, we've got a man in the vehicle now and we're gonna show you exactly how to get out the proper way without uh, becoming uh, electrocuted. All right, here we are um, fixing to exit the vehicle. We got Middle Tennessee Electric, we're on the scene. Um, this guy, whenever he approaches the car, he's gonna stay probably about 30 feet away. When he gets about 30 feet away, then at that point, he's gonna start talking to the driver. Sir, are you okay? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. All right, so nod, understand me, nod your head. I understand, understand. Sir, there's no smoke, there's no flame, so what I need you to do, don't panic, just sit in the car everywhere on the way. EMS, police are on the way, stay put, do not move. Are you sure? Yes, sir, stay I'm put. Okay. Stay put, yes, sir. So, so as you see, there are guys on the scene from Mill Tennessee Electric, he has tried to uh, calm that subject down, make sure that he is not really um, agitated or excited and, and his adrenaline is really pumping at the time. So he's, his job is to just calm him down. There is no smoke, there is no fire present, so there is no danger from the car at this time. The only danger that could be is a down power line or a power line touching the vehicle. So we try our best to keep that person as calm as possible and in the vehicle. That's the main thing is inside the vehicle. Sir, sir, are you okay? I'm okay, but the car's on fire. I know, sir, I know that. So what I need you to do is I need you to just remain calm. Okay. I need you to listen what I'm saying to you. Nod your head yes if you understand, no if you don't, nod if you don't understand, all right? What we need to do is exit the car safely, and I'm gonna tell you how to do it, all right? I'm gonna get you to open the door, if you can open the door. Once you open the door, what I need you to do is stand on your door jam. all right? Do not touch the ground and the car at the same time. What I need you to do to get out safely is to stand on the door jam, brace yourself comfortably, then I need you to jump clear of the car. Do not reach back for a cell phone or anything. Don't worry about any of that, do you understand? Once you do that, what I need you to do is once you plant firmly, I need you to continue to hop about 20 times away from that car keeping your knees and your feet together. Do you understand that, sir? All right, let's go ahead and try that, sir. Go ahead. Remain calm. You're all right, you're looking good. Looking good. Perfect, sir. Keep hopping now. Keep hopping. Keep hopping. Keep hopping. Keep hopping. Thank you, sir. In both of those situations where we had the guy stay in the vehicle and the second time we had him to exit the vehicle, communication was very vital. Our Middle Tennessee Electric guy talked to the man in the vehicle. Head nod was from the guy back to him to make sure everything was understood. He exited the vehicle and he exited in a safely manner. So now we've talked in detail on how to exit a vehicle on the proper way to either stay in the vehicle or to get out. So now we want to show you by demonstration purposes with this red wagon. This red wagon is going to be energized at 7,200 volts. 
Uh, our system in Middle Tennessee Electric is 14,400 volts, except in the city of Murfreesboro, where it is still 7,200. But we have this for demonstration purposes at a voltage of 7,200. So now you'll see that we are inside the vehicle. There is no problem there whatsoever because we've got the tires insulating that person from the ground, kind of like a bird on a wire. So right now he is in the vehicle. There is no danger present. There's voltage right now on Carl that's in the vehicle. Let's we'll check right here and see exactly what we've got. Our voltmeter says it's right at 9,000 9, volts. Nothing's happening. But as soon as he steps out, puts contact to the ground, you can see the difference in potential through his body, path to ground. So the main thing is if there is no fire, there is no smoke, there is no outside danger, to stay in the vehicle, wait for people to get there to de-energize the line to make sure it is safe to exit that vehicle. All right, so now you see that he has stepped away from the vehicle. His feet to start with were together, that is great. But instead of hopping away like we demonstrated earlier, he has taken a step away. And now the voltage reading you can see is about a 1600 volt difference between the back leg and the front leg. And as soon as he steps forward, that is a difference of 1600 volts that will pass through your body. That's a lot of voltage to go through the body at one time. Not a good thing. Proper way, like we said, is to hop, bunny hop, literally, about 20 to 30 times away from the car itself where voltage could be present and that would be in a safe distance for you to start walking at that point. So the last thing we're going to show you before we're done is we're going to show you the best that we can, the effects of electricity on the body. And the only way that we know to do that is to use just a regular old hot dog. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this hot dog and we're going to put it on Miss Electra and we're going to put her over in the vehicle and we're going to have her step out of the vehicle while coming in contact and we're going to show you what the effect of electricity in just a small hot dog for just about a couple to three seconds can do to the body. All right, so now you see that Miss Electra is over in the, the vehicle. Now she's going to exit the vehicle in a manner that is going to be unsafe to her. So as she steps out, steps to the ground, you can see the hot dog is on the far side and it comes in contact with the car and you see the results thereof. Now, for that short amount of time, you can see that the hot dog really became hot. The whole end is gone and I'm going to show you where there was not a bone, that it is clean inside the hot dog. You can see right here there is an exit. There is also an entrance right here. So let's cut it open, look at the inside and see what that done for just that short amount of time. You can literally see how that electricity burnt from the inside out and bubbled the hot dog in just that short amount of time. That is why we try our best to stress to the public that if there is a vehicle that has come in contact with a pole to make sure of your surroundings, not exit the vehicle unless you have to and to exit in the proper manner as we demonstrated earlier in the video. So as you have seen today from our demonstration, that uh, the main thing is to not panic if you're ever in this situation. Call 911, wait for EMS to arrive, wait for us to arrive, Middle Tennessee Electric, so that we can disconnect power to make sure everything is safe for you to exit the vehicle. If you would like to share this with a friend, family member, we would encourage you to do so. We thank you for the time that you've given us this morning to share this video with you. Thanks for watching.